uh, Jasmine wants me, bro. Yesterday, bro, we was walking to lunch. You know we had got in trouble with the substitute teacher, bro. So we had to walk in a sign line, bro. She dropped her pencil in front of me, bro. When she dropped the pencil, she bent over on me, bro. And then she actually bumped me. She turned around and said, excuse me. I said, okay, cool. Maybe she don't. But then we got to the dang lunch table, bro. And you know, it was stuffed meatloaf Thursday. I hate that stuff. So I was just sitting at the table. She dropped her pencil again, bro. And then she stayed under the table for like 1.5 seconds. I know she was looking at my thing, bro. And on top of that, I know she going to Latavia's party, bro. Latavia! What you mean, Latavia who? The girl with the stank breath. But I always talk to her because, you know, she got that gum. And, you know, I always want something. I don't never got no pencil. You know exactly what I'm talking about. This lady always calling me, man. Not Jasmine. My mama, bro. Hold on, man. I'm gonna call you right back, bro. Yes. Uh oh, you need to lose your attitude when you talk to me, little boy. You must forget who I am. I'm the one who pays the bills in this house. When you pay the bills, then you can talk crazy. But until then, you say yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Do you understand me? Yes, I understand. Guess who? Yes, who you understand? Who? Yes, 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 what? Yes, ma'am. I understand. Give me this electricity bill so I can pay this electricity bill for we ain't got no power in this house. You do you want to pay the electricity bill since you you just want to have a smart mouth with your mama? It's so it should be up in this bag though. Mom. What Jamil? It ain't no way you talking about this purse, bro. You're literally right by it, mom. A whole baby could take two baby steps and make it to this purse. There's no way you got a big foot. You can make it in one. Why didn't you just get it, mom? Why you had to call me and get it? Excuse me? Who are you talking to? I got on your mother. You do not talk to me any type of way. I already told you when you was over there. Now, first of all, yes, that is the bag that I need my stuff out of. If I call you in the bag that's sitting up here, I want you to get me the stuff out of the bag that's sitting up here. Don't, don't do me like that. Don't, don't start with me. Not today. I'm not in the mood for your stuff today, Jamil. Not today. Okay. Jamil, just, you don't follow any rules. I ask you to get me this. Give me my electricity bill out of my bag. This way your dad on grace is like this. You don't follow rules, Jamel. You, this little boy do not follow rules. I don't know who, who, who. Little boy, I'm about to make mad. I asked you to give me this. Not my dad on purse, you. Get out of my room. Get, get out, get out right now. But I still gave you the purse and it's in the purse. Get out, bye. Get right. out. Do you need anything else? Why is my bill $653? Damn, bro, I can't never do this TikTok right, bro. I'm never gonna become TikTok famous. I don't do this right. Bro, she always calling me, man. Damn. God, bro. Can't take this no more, bro. God, please, bro. You only got one more year, bro. Just stick it out, bro. I know she got her elephant here. Really tell this little boy, 
you gonna pay for this electricity bill. And don't ask me how, cause you know I'm already tell you. How you gonna pay for it is you gonna take your little narrow behind it now and you gonna work it off. You gonna cook me some food. You gonna clean my whole entire house. If I want you to do my toes, you gonna do my toes. If I want you to clean my bathroom, I'm gonna Ooh, I want you to clean my back, clean my phone. I want you to do all that. Now go in there and get my dad off food. Make me some food right now, boy. Fine, bro. You better be lucky. Come on. Mr. Attitude, where's my remote at? Oh my gosh, bro. I need her to take me to this part of my room. That's cool, bro. I'm not even gonna sit at the front. Here you go, mom. Do my dad on remote. And my name is Trisha. I told you I was gonna call you back. You know I had to go finish eating my vegetables so I can get very strong for you. Oh, gee, boy, stop. You did Mr. Johnson homework? Yeah, I did it. Uh, can I cheat off you? You know how you do my homework. I don't never do my homework. Uh, why don't you? Because I'll be too busy talking to you. Trying to make you my girl. <laughs> you going to the party? Yeah, I'm going. Are you? Yeah, my mom already said I could go, you know. You know me, I'm getting big and strong now, so she, she trusts me out there on my own. Oh, uh, is that really what you think? So I'm gonna see you there now. I already told you I'm gonna be there. All right, cool then. All right then. All right, I'm, I gotta wash the dishes, so I'm gonna call you back later so I can see that sexy place. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, see you later. Bye. Let's go. I'm gonna go in there, bro. I'm gonna tell you trying to strip like this. You taking me to that party, bro. I'm going to that party. You gonna drop me off and you gonna pick me up. And I don't need you picking me up till I call you, bro. Yeah, you gonna pick me up when I call you, and it's at 11:30, not 10. I'm too old to be coming to that time. Yeah, and I'm going just like that. I want your name, somebody. I'm going. Come on, baby. You gonna come, man? Come on. I'm sorry, for stink. Molly, G, where's my way crowd up your buddy dog? Jesus Christ! Now, Jamel, you need to stop doing all that. I be seeing them underwear you be wearing, and they be having the little doo-doo stains in them. You be leaving doo-doo stains in your toilet, so don't come for me. What do you want? Because I'm not going to let you get me all routed up today. What What do you want? What did you come in here for? You always trying to bring up the past, Mom. Can we look into the future, like talking about if I can go to this party, please? Party? Who, who party you go? Who party are you going to? Ma, little Joe Bo from down the street, y'all remember he always used to get bullied all the time and you made me be his friend. He grown now, he having a 12th birthday party. I really want to go. He invited me over, he said I should come. He don't got nobody else coming, so I want to go. Please. Little Joe Bo like, little, little Joe Bo with the, with the big, big sister? Uh, what, what time is, what time is this party? All right, before you say no, Ma, just hear me out. The party ends at 11.30, but, 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 you can come pick me up at 11.25. I'll be ready at 11.20, to, ladies. I promise. You 11.30? You gonna walk in my house at 11.30? You... Oh, no, sir. Not happening. No, sir. Why? Why can I go? See? That's why I'm tired of parents. I can't wait till I'm old enough to get out of this house. Because it's stuff like this, but I'm like, why can't I just go to the party? It's a birthday party. The kid get bullied. Just let me go. You're bullying him by not letting me go. Who are you talking to? One, I said no because I'm your mother. You do not question me. Don't question me. I brought you in this world. I could take your little behind out of it. Now, two, I have things to do at 10 o'clock at night. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You always making up excuses, man. All the time, bro. That's why you ain't got no man out because you always got excuses. Why? I don't care. I'll find my own way to the park and back home. I swear, I swear bro, bro, this boy this lady always, always needs something. something. But she, she never wanna, wanna do, do nothing. Nothing, nothing for, for nobody, nobody else. else. All, All she do is sit, sit on that phone. phone. All, All day, day, day. day. Jeez, bro, she's, she's so, so lazy. lazy. other girls man you know after i drop like 60 70 buckets these girls be trying to holler at the kid they know i'm about to go all the way you know i just missed the drive this year but you know i'm gonna be i'm gonna end the drive next year no hold on oh 
Man, this little boy better answer this phone, boy. He better answer it before I knock him upside. He said, he better not be upstairs going for the little thirst tail look. I love you, but you know I'm young, so I love a lot of girls, man. Bro, hold on, I'm gonna call you right back. No, it's not a girl. It's not, bro. But just hold on, man. Hello, mom. Jamal, come help your mama in the car. I need, I need you to help me get some stuff out of this car, son. Oh, every time you call me, why you can't just do it yourself? Uh-uh, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm coming, mom. Hurry up, little bubble, because it's hot out here. I ain't getting no younger, and this sun is frying me like I'm a little egg or something. Oh, we know. I be seeing them wrinkles. I say find a girl that's like your mom, and I hope I don't find no girl like mom. Come on, I'm boy, swear. it's hot out here. I'm ready to get out of this car. What, ma? Use your 90 year old brain to get out the car. I don't see no groceries. What you need help with, mom? Just come open my door for me, please. Ma! Bro, I, Mom, I know. No, I ain't what. You you know I ain't what. I've been working all day to make sure you got a roof over your nappy. Okay, okay. I opened the door. Damn, you about to go carrying on me, bro. I opened the door. I got a roof over here. I did it fine, bro. God. Dang, Jamel, you can at least open the door all the way. You know my arms are hurting from carrying all this body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy on me, boy. Mom, now you know you ain't got no body, yaddy, yaddy. Jamel, be quiet here. Hold this. Bye, bro. Oh. Just put, just put my bag in. Guys, bro, you could at least have the door for me. I thought your arm hurt. How you was able to bust through here like that? What? Oh, that's me. Boy, I'm glad I'm not in there. Yes, ma'am. Bro, I don't think she letting you come over this weekend, bro. She just tried to get me to wipe her behind, and I said no. Wipe her behind? Yeah, her behind. She just tried to get me to wipe it like she has some nursing home, like she's some old lady or something, bro. bro. Come on, bro. Just ask her. Bro, I'm not trying to ask. Bro, please. All right, bro. I ask her, bro. All right, leave. Oh, I'm trying to get me in trouble. Bro, I was trying to get me in trouble. I told her my mama going to say no. I just told her I wasn't wiping her behind, bro. Hey, mom. But what? I didn't told you. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out if my friend can come. Can come where? Do your friend got a ride? Because once I'm in this bed, I'm not leaving. Yes. He has one here, but he needs one home. You don't listen, do you? I just said, once I'm in my bed, I'm not getting out. I don't care if the house on fire. I'm not getting out of my bed. Mama, he ain't got no mama. Can you, can you just get him? He only stays right across the road. He ain't got no mama. What? See, now you, you just trying to get your friend over here making up. So how? How he get in the world then? Oh, you know, I don't even care. I'm not going to get him. He he can ride a bike or something. Oh, please. I'll do anything. Please. Oh, you'll do anything. Look. Buy my water for me then. Ma, it's right there. Look down. You legally blind. Oh. <laughs> Come give it to me then. Ma, it's right. I know that, but that's the rules. You seen it first. And it's your friend like right across the street. What rules? I ain't never even heard of that before. The rules in my house that I just added to the list. Ma, what list? The top secret rules that if you don't do, I'm gonna beat you up behind with my top secret belt. Well, that sounds... Yeah? Okay. I wonder what this belt sounds like. Touche. On the other end, I think I can get that for you. I told you to hand it to me. Just for that, he ain't coming over here. But I... <laughs> Tell it to your Yes, I think I've seen you before on Hot Boy 101. What you know about that? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Jamil. Jamil, come into this door real quick. 
You realize the door is literally three feet away from both of us, so I think you should go since you heard it first. Remember your rules? Well, I done told you about talking while I'm on the daggone phone, boy. And, and actually, I got two feet, you little smart behind. I got two, not three. You know what? I do remember the rules, but when you make the rules, you can change the rules. So go into that door. Bro, you're right there. You get it. And who you on the phone with anyway? I hope you ain't on the phone with nobody on that dang day. It's like, you must have told them folks you lazy, huh? Hold on. L let me call you right back. Boy, you, you let me get off the phone before you say something like that. Them folks can hear you. I'm trying to make us some money out here. Just go into the daggone door. Mom, did you just come for work? You need to stop being so lazy, man. I know it ain't my friend DeMarcus, I know that. Mom, ain't nobody out here? Now I know I'd have heard somebody knocking at my door. And let me tell you something. If today, today, ooh, today is Friday. If my package was supposed to come today. So if that was my package that I missed because you wanted to take so long to open the door whereby somebody else I'm gonna pack you up and I'm gonna ship you. Ma, my fault? Yes, Jamil, your fault. You know what? You're as lazy. You're lazy just like your daddy. Don't ever put me with nobody that's lazy. This is exactly why I left him. I can't be with him. He's so lazy. But ain't you. Talk about my daddy. You the one who's lazy. That's why he like you. Y'all left each other. Y'all was an equal agreement. Don't nobody want to be with nobody who's lazy. You're right, because you're lazy. I'm sick of you, bro. You got something to get off your chest, little boy? Nope. You're the best. Not lazy. Never asked your son to do anything, mother ever. Oh, well, son, that just warms mommy's heart so much. You make sure that when you get your girlfriend, she is just like your mama. I mean, just like me, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and close your door so you can have your little long time or whatever. That boy ain't gonna never get him no girl acting like that. Ugh, I hope my girl don't ever act like that. I'm gonna leave her butt in the woods. Matter of fact, I might just be single all my oh life. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. I am starving. I can eat a house, a cat, a dog, a cow, a bird, or whatever, bro. I can eat anything. Hmm, let's see. What do we have in... It is really nothing in this refrigerator, bro. You know what? I'll just, I just whip something together. That is what I will do. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm hungry. Ma, can you take me to McDonald's? I heard they got the new sweetie meal. Do you have McDonald's money? I mean, yeah, I do, actually. But only for me. But since you ain't got no money for me, I ain't got no gas for you. And plus, I don't feel like going anyway. I can't wait till I get my own car, man, because this is the type of stuff I've been talking about. I just want to go get something to eat, and you won't even take me. Wait till you get old. You better ask to ride in my car. I ain't taking you, my boy. How about that? Well, hush your mouth. Come on and sit down. I am already fixed dinner, so I'm... I don't even know what you're talking about. Just come and enjoy. Fine, bro. I eat the dang food, bro. Come on, leave. Now, mom. I know, son. You ain't even gotta say it. I already know. It looks better than McDonald's. I know they might as well just go ahead and give me a deal, huh? But uh, can you just pass me that fork right there? You know what you think this look better than McDonald's, ma? You really gonna eat that? I'm not passing you no fork. And in no way you talking about the fork right there. It's right there, ma. Grab it. First of all, yes, I am talking about the fork that is sitting right there. You are very much ungrateful. I just sat here and slaved over this whole entire dinner for me and you, for us to have a mother and son dinner together and now you over here just just bashing my food that's really how you feel i go to work i come home i cook you i gotta put up with all your mess i gotta take you to basketball practice take you to football practice i shouldn't do this i shouldn't do that you should just want to do it for me and you see here talking about my food I, that hurts my feelings son hurt your feelings man it's gonna hurt my stomach it's about all oh, jamel i take you to football practice i take you to basketball practice well, guess what mama i go to basketball practice and football practice with that in my stomach they gonna keep me off the team because of my diet Horrible. And all you talk about, oh, I do this for you, Jamel. I do that for you, Jamel. Why well, you go get my friend now, huh? Why well, you go get me stay right across the street? It's all about, oh, I'm not getting out the bed even if it was a fire. But you get out the bed to cook this, you need to throw this in the fire, mama. I can't believe you. You really gonna sit here and talk to your own mother like that. The person that just sat here and slaved over this dinner for 30 whole minutes to make sure you had something to put in your stomach, to make sure you had food in your stomach, to make sure you were well taken care of. I put a roof over your head. I put clothes up your back. I put shoes on your crusty toes. You know, I just do so much for you and you just treat me like this. I don't understand how. I'm the who brought you into this world. I carried you for nine months. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine months. I went through all that pain for you. For you to come out ungrateful like this? Really? Well, I'll be. I never asked you to bring 
bring me in as well. In 30 minutes? You mean 30 seconds? I could have cut this with my eyes closed and on top of that, you talk about you brought me in as well? You gonna take me out of here with that? You know, I just don't know what to do with you anymore. You are very, very disrespectful. Like, I brought you in here, you talk about well, what this for? I can tell you, you know what? If I really wanted to take you out, I could have been did it. You know, I should have been did it the way you talking to me. Next time, you know what? I ask your daddy to make you some food. How about that? Ask your daddy, your lazy daddy. He just lazy. He don't want to take care of you, but I'm taking care of you. And you, you know what? I'm done. I'm so done. I'm, I'm not doing this no more for you at all. No, this food is disrespectful. And since we're on that topic, I'm not asking either one of y'all to do nothing for me. Why? Because y'all both lazy. That's why y'all split up, because y'all both want each other to do stuff. But shoot, I be doing stuff for both of us, so I might as well think for you, huh? Oh, okay, so what am I thinking now? <sighs> Go get the belt. Can't wait to go to this party tonight, bro. It's gonna be super lit, bro. Your mom said you can go? Come on, bro. You know she said I can go. I told her I was going anyway, bro. And on top of that, she even said she's gonna drop me off. Even though she's mad lazy. But, bro, I can't wait. As long as I get a dance from this girl, bro, I don't care what goes on after that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You need that dance, bro. But on top of that, bro, it's like my first party I'm ever going to, so I have to make a good impression on old girl, bro. She'll never talk to you again if you don't make a good impression. Oh yeah, what time you going? Around 5.45. Oh, that's cool. Oh, what you wearing, bro? I have to look my best for this girl. I can't go in there smelling like yesterday. Oh, oh yeah, on oh, oh, God, I can't go in there smelling like yesterday, bro. Hold on. Bro, I'll be back, bro. Hold on. Uh, hurry up, bro. Yes, ma. Yeah, what you want? Ma, huh, did you want something? I'm trying to figure out why you still busting in my room like you some kind of crazy. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You ain't sorry. What you supposed to do before you walk in my room, boy? Knock first. Huh? I, I, I can't hear you. Knock first. So why didn't you do it if you know you're supposed to be knocking on my door, boy? You know what? One day I'm being here and I'm going to get my little groove on doing what I do. And my goodies, they're just going to be all out. And you going to look at me I do not want to have that image in my head. Please stop. Go back the way you was and we're going to try this one more time. Ma, oh, come on. I was on the phone. Come on, please. Get out. <laughs> Hello? You stay there, bro? Yeah, bro. Oh, my God. You there, bro? Bro, I'll just see you at the party, bro. Dang, it's like that. All right, later. All right. Can't wait till I get out of this house. I'm tired of reporting to my mom. Now that's better. So, is there anything you want? Yeah, um, come pass me these chips over here, boy. I am about to pass. Now I know I'm not sure about this. I hope I'm not sure about this, but mom, I know you're not talking about that bag of chips that's sitting right there in front of you. Yes, boy, that one right there. Man, when I tell you my back hurts so bad, I can't bend over, lean forward, lean to the sideways. Thank you. Is that it? Is there anything your body can't possibly reach now? Is that an attitude out here? Nope, no attitude over here, mom. I didn't think so. Now, bye. <laughs> Bills around here. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Please don't not take me to the party. Man, what am I gonna wear, bro? I wonder what her favorite color is. It don't matter, bro. I'm just gonna kill it with my personality. I'm gonna hit it with a joke or two. I'm gonna be like, guess who's loud, annoying, and guess who's always yelling my name? Never fails. I can't never get a break, bro. Come in. Look at you starting to learn something. Now come here and rub my feet for me. Excuse me? My feet, boy. Come, come rub my feet. My dog's starting to bark and whew, I ain't even talking about Nick. Come on now. Um, come on now. They, they ain't gonna rub they self. You wanna you wanna go to that party, right? Yes. Less whining and more rubbing. I know why you wanna go to that party. It's probably gonna be nothing but fast tail, little nappy headed girls at that party. I know it used to be like that back in my day. Oh, don't look. Oh, don't look. Uh uh. What are you even doing? You're not even rubbing my feet. You just down there playing with my little toes. Nicks could do a better job than this. You know, just get back and get out because I don't know what you are doing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that boy is so extra like his daddy. He ain't even 
go find a girl at that party. Bro! That was definitely a near-death experience. I would never touch another set of toes in my life, bro. Oh my god, I can't believe she made me do that. Jasmine! Oh, what is she want now? God, I can't take this nasty, stinking, 30-foot lady that called mom. Excuse me, did you did you say something? No, ma'am. Good boy. Now go grab your mama key so we can go ahead to this store. But mom, it's already getting late and the party starts at 6. Maybe you could drop me off before or after we go to the store so that way I can make it on time. So who will get the groceries at the store if I drop you off before I go to the store? And who in they right for mom, please tell me, is going to bring them groceries in this house if I drop you off before I get back to the house? Um... You? Boy, I can't do none of that. I am too old. <sighs> okay, let's go. What's taking you so long, Mom? Uh, don't act like you ain't got no common sense now. You know your mama cannot get to the car by herself. You know the drill. Come on and pick your mama up and take me to the car. But, Ma, you can you do it. You still want to go to that party, right? Yes, ma'am. Come on now. All right, Jamel, so you make sure you give me everything off this list. I'm ready to go back to my house and get my bed. My back is killing me. Here, boy, go get okay. it. Mom, where's the rest of the list? What do you mean? That's it. That is everything on my list, boy. Really, Mom? You had me drag you all the way down here, picking you up and stuff just to get some ice cream? Just oh, ice cream? Well, you getting loud, man. So don't do that. You got these people looking at me like I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what? You forgetting something. Oh, I forgot. Uh, no, ma'am. I didn't think so. Now go get my ice cream before I whoop your friend. You got these people looking at me. I'm going to get them something to watch. Keep playing with me. And you better pay for it, too. I left my coin purse at the house. Oh, my God. Are you so weak? I need another sun. Oh, my gosh. Weak, weak. Go ahead. Put me on the bed. And I got to watch the story. Be careful when you put me on. All right, Mom, I'm all sweaty. I'm going to go take a shower, and then after that, I'm ready for you to take me to the party, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All righty. Oh, my God. Why is this lazy lady sleep, bro? <laughs> Boy, what are you doing? Are you trying to get my keys? Mom, I did everything you asked me to do. I just want to get to the party on time. Come on, let's go. Look, boy, I know you're not getting smart at the mouth with me. I won't take your little behind nowhere. Mom, please. Jamel, if I take you to this party, how am I going to get back up those stairs by myself? Answer that for me. Come on, Ma. You always do this, bro. I can't wait to move out this house, bro. Now you know your mama can't move around on her own. I got a bad back, bad knees, and bad toes. Take me to the bathroom real quick, and, and after I finish using the bathroom, I'll take you to that party. And while you at it, can you put my slippers on my feet? Ma. Hurry up before I pee on myself. And while I'm on the toilet, if you want to go to that party, clean my room up and put my ice cream in the freezer and don't forget to make my bed up. Did you not hear what I just asked you? You don't understand how to answer questions when grown folks just talk to you. Wash them dishes too. I know you're not throwing stuff around in my room, boy. No, ma'am. Yo, I'm grateful, but I better be thankful that I still go to work and I slave my butt off just to pay some bills in this house for your grown stuff to still be staying here. I'm too old for you to be putting me through all Ma, ain't nobody throwing anything out here. Fool me if you want to. I'm going to send your lazy behind with your lazy. No good, no money, can't cook, can't even walk to the car on his own. My, my daddy, boy. my daddy lazy. No, you lazy. You literally got somebody taking you to the toilet. I might as well wipe your butt too. What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm still going to the party, bro. Because my mom getting on my nerves. That's why I sound like that. 
Cause she lazy, bro. When I say lazy, I mean super lazy. I can't wait till I graduate, bro. I'm so sick of this lady, bro. She got me taking her to the toilet, bro. I might as well wipe her butt. You know how it is going in the school bathroom, bro. But yes, I'm coming to the second, bro. I'll see you at the party, Jamil! bro. Wait on me. Boy, you heard me. I am not coming back to this apartment. How do you expect me to get back upstairs to the house if you not here to carry me back up there? By using the two legs that God unfortunately blessed you with. Boy, you got two hours. When we get there, I'm going to park on the side of the house, eat my snacks, and I'm going to watch my story. Don't make me embarrass you in front of your little friend. Why do you treat me like this? You ain't gonna believe it. Then on top of that, bruh, she said I can only stay at the party for two hours. Bruh, how am I supposed to impress Alexis in two hours? A dude like me need at least five hours to impress a dang girl. I can't wait to get out this house with this ugly girl. Yeah, okay. I don't know why you don't just go home and wait instead of sitting here looking like a weird old parent. Where is the... That's a... Ma, come on, Ma, stop. Why? Ma, can I just stay for one more hour, please? But what you think I am? A taxi driver or something? I ain't no Uber. I got work in the morning. Now take your little narrow behind back in there. You got 40 minutes. Um, Before you go in there, can you get my little blanket and pillow so I can take me a nap? It's supposed to be at the party. She always... Here. Should have just got it on your own. What in the tarnation is that? Bro, is she gonna open the door or not? She noticed her fine son waiting on her to let me in. Boy, you must be trying to get hurt. No, Ma. I was just trying to get you to unlock the door so I can get in the car. Boy, come on and get in here so I can go back to my house. Let your window up, boy. It's cold out here. nobody tell you to sit in the car and wait on me like a weirdo. You should have just waited in the house. I would have called you when I was ready. I don't understand why you so lazy, bruh. If they had a war for the laziest person, I swear you'd win it. Ow! What did you do that for? Can't wait to get away from you. Just pick me up and take me in the house, boy. Patiently waiting. Just moving like you you ain't got nowhere to be. Can you hurry up, please? Jesus, I'm so sick of your lazy behind. And then you had the nerve to walk up the stairs slow like I had somewhere to be. Bring her earlier, how you said I need to get in the gym? You need to go and get in the gym. And just to get you started, go run and get my pillows, my blanket, and my snacks and bring them back to me. Oh, and wait, before you go, um, press that button and turn that TV on so I can finish watching. 
watching my stories, please. Bro, oh my gosh, man. Oh, I know you ain't got no attitude with me after I just spent two of my precious hours waiting on you while you was at a party when I could have been doing something more valuable with my time. This is the things I get as your mother, really? I can't take this no more, bro. I tell you, kids nowadays don't know how good they have it. Jeremy! What? Come put my cover over me and adjust my pillow until I'm comfortable. And make sure my food is hot enough for me. And don't forget the water when you come, too. How can I help you? I said, bring me my food and don't forget the water. Way to go to school and hard to get away from this damn lady. She really get my mind nervous. Here you go. Give me this. Yes, ma'am. Never mind, since you want to act like somebody bothering you, just go and run my water so I can take me a bath. Oh my gosh, bruh. Now you know come next week, you will want to go to another party. And who's going to take you? Oh, okay. You better recognize. Now go ahead. <laughs> I'm way too graduated high school, man. I am not staying in this house and going to college. I'm going straight to college campus. I see why everybody always go to college campus. <gasps> Hello? How you doing? Yeah, I had fun at the party with you too. You want to come over? You serious? Yeah, you could come over. How about tomorrow? Yeah, my mom already said yeah. You ain't got to worry about her. Yes, I'm sure. All right, I'm, I'm going to call you back, all right? Mom. 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 Can Alexis come over? Boy!